Hi and welcome to Bloxy. In this video, we're going to see how our premium advanced menus extension lets you create beautiful interactive menus for your website. With this extension, you can add elements to your menus, such as content blocks, headings, icons, and more. This is very helpful if you wish to differentiate your website from the sea of WordPress websites and give it a super unique look. Let's explore how this extension works. First, we need to activate it. So navigate to the WordPress dashboard, then choose Bloxy, Extensions, Pro Extensions, and there it is, a little bit down the page. It's called Advanced Menus, and a simple click on the Activate button will turn on this extension. To configure this extension, go to Appearance and Menus within the WordPress navigation sidebar. As we're using the Tasty Starter site as a demo for this video, we will create a beautiful recipes dropdown, showcasing our recipe categories with some mouth-watering images and icons. Let's start working. First, expand the recipes menu entry and enable the advanced menu options for it. Simply click on the menu item settings button to enable it for this menu. Once enabled, you have a few options that helps with the design configuration of the drop-down. The first setting sets the drop-down box width. We have three choices here. Content width, which constrains the drop-down to the site width that you've set inside the customizer. Full width, which ignores the setting and stretches the drop-down as wide as the screen is. And an option to set a customized width ignoring all other settings. Next up, we can set the number of columns the dropdown should have, ranging from one column up to six columns, with additional settings to configure the width of the individual columns down below. We continue with the label option, which lets you hide the label of the item, useful in case you wish to display just an icon or a more minimalistic view. You can also disable the link for the parent element as well as set the aforementioned icon. Last but not least, we have the badge setting. This comes in handy if you wish to highlight something special for that category. For example, when you've added new recipes to your website and want to draw the visitor's attention to them. For this case, we'll set the badge as new. Once you're happy with your choices, click Save Settings. Now we're ready to move on to the customization of the menu contents. Note here that the first set of children elements of the parent element will arrange the subsequent elements in columns. For example, if we wish to have four columns, we will need to have four children elements under our main entry. If we wish to add more elements to that column, they will have to be the secondary children of the initial child element. We have talked about content blocks and images for our advanced menus. In our case, we have designated a blank menu option to serve the purpose of an image. Simply add a hashtag blank link with the label of your choice for easy organization and identification. Once added, you can explore the menu option settings. In our case, we have selected it to be a content block and chosen the appropriate template. We have also disabled the label visibility option and label link as we want to only display the content block image. Next, we move on to our category title. We have added a link to the main category page that has been transformed into a heading. Let's check out its options to see how this was achieved. Notice that we have turned on the heading option to make the element stand out. We have also chosen a little icon from the Font Awesome library that better represents this category. Let's recap a bit what we've done here. We have added the main child of the menu as being the column header. Then under the child, we have added our interactive menu elements, such as our links or headings. The rest of the options are just standard simple links that let you navigate to the selected articles. No special changes needed here. As always, you can dig a bit deeper and experiment with each option until you're happy with the results. 
There are granular controls for everything you might need, colors, margins, icon size, and so on. After we've done customizing our menu, we need to head back onto the website's front end and see how it displays. Don't forget to save the menu changes. Beautiful, ain't it? We hope this tutorial has been helpful in explaining how our advanced menu system works. By using a feature like this, your website will stand out compared to your competition, making navigation easier, more beautiful, and more interactive. As usual, feel free to reach out via our support system at creativethemes.com if you have any questions. We will be happy to help you straight away. Until next time, take care. JP signing out. Thank you.